Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what are their true intentions and love. And today Capricorn, we have uh, a couple decks here. We're using a different deck, uh, at least for your cards, right? A uh, very deep deck, uh, I feel like it is. This is a new deck, right? But uh, we have these oracle cards here. And I feel like Capricorn, <laughs> somebody like wants a reunion with you, but they're like lying they're lying they're lying to themselves or they're lying to you right and you know the biggest lie is the one you tell yourself right uh hell yeah it is so you know people do it every day in the united states uh that everything is just a-okay mm -hmm. they're probably watching the mainstream what's in the mainstream and they're being lied to so maybe that's why they feel that way but in this reading, somebody loves you. We have the Ace of Hearts, Capricorn. Your person in this reading is in love with you. The Ace of Hearts. I feel like you might have got this card the other day. Yeah. And this is uh, somebody who wants to build a home with you. Or a new beginning in love that has foundation because it is the bird's nest. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so... We also have the reunion card. This is the Jack of Hearts. This is uh, the wagon wheel. It talks about a reunion. It does that somebody is thinking of. It can talk about uh, somebody wanting to see you as well. Visit with you or see you or go out with you. Things like that, right? Uh, and we have the cedar branch and uh, also the galax flower here. This talks about success. And something that is kind of really honorable or <coughs> has a lot of value. Mm -hmm. Resonating the whale song and the covenant, the sacred contract. Somebody might be thinking of marrying you. It's possible they're already, they already have a, a sacred contract. Because there's some reason why this person is not really coming. It looks like they're not coming forward yet. But we're going to find out. I, I, I can't say that's true yet. Uh, the Shadow Treasures card is here, and this lady's in the forest all by herself, and she is uh, she has this fire going, right? And it's a, like a hidden treasure, the Shadow Treasure. I believe you're probably a hidden treasure to somebody, and then we have Go With The Flow. So maybe this is what somebody needs to do, is go with the flow, and the man's, he's, you know, he's uh, going down the river in this boat. It's really cute. It's really beautiful. I shouldn't say cute, but... Here, you know, the river's turning, and he's he realizes uh, at the at the turn after the river turns, there's a new adventure for him. He knows that, right? And so, but he's like, he doesn't have an oar. He's just going downstream. Maybe somebody really needs to go with the flow here. And I feel like they, for some reason, it looks like they're maybe they might not be. I'm not sure yet, right? But whatever, you know, the whale song uh, card talks about somebody who believes that you really resonate with them like this is you know something really good mm -hmm. so we have capricorn we're looking at a, a different deck here with your cards down here we have the traditional tarot right but this is a tarot deck it is somebody else's kind of take on it somebody who's very deep I, I feel like they are and somebody who put a lot of work into this deck yeah i feel like they have but you know we have in your, we have the Ten of Bows. This is responsibility. It's a Ten of Wands. And this is in the recent past, but something, uh, some type of responsibility was a burden because we see the man carrying ten, 10 bows and he has to walk up this big hill here with these wands. And so in the past, something that was a burden was probably somebody's responsibility. We also have the nine of cups, generosity. This is in your current energy. Mm -hmm. Interesting how they uh, think of the nine of cups. It's like a wish, right? It is a wish that somebody wants to come true, but it is generosity here. Mm. And what's on your mind is the four of wands. In this deck, it's a celebration. It always is kind of. Yeah, it is usually. A celebration it can be a marriage but this is on your mind here a celebration mm -hmm. I feel like you want to celebrate a uh, reunion with somebody pretty sure here mm -hmm. or maybe you think somebody else is doing this your person I shouldn't say somebody else maybe you feel like your person is celebrating something right now mm -hmm. and in your challenge is skill 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we see, you know, the caveman here kind of, and he's doing something here. He's making something, you know, maybe somebody doesn't have relationship skills. Yeah. Your person. Stop saying somebody <laughs> in, in your challenge, Capricorn, somebody doesn't have relationship skills. That's what's going on here. And what you want is, uh, or you're hoping for, we have the four of swords here. This is rest in this deck, you know, it gets a little deeper, you know, it does, uh, but it's a new deck. So I'm kind of, you know, going by what you know, going by, uh, kind of the general here, but, uh, which is uh, painting the picture. I feel like pretty clearly because we have the Oracle cards with it, but you're hoping uh, maybe that somebody, maybe you are resting, but I feel like you are kind of hoping that somebody is like maybe recovering and resting or in, you could be, mm, let's see. We have the world tree. This is your fear or your doubt. And this is the world all by itself, right? We're going to have a look at that in a minute. So hold on one second, you guys. Uh, bear with me. I'll be right back. I have a little interruption here. Sorry, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, I beg your pardon on that. So, let's see here. And, you know, in your fear, Capricorn, is this world. You're afraid like a cycle's not going to end. You're afraid you're not going to have your wish. You're afraid things are not going to change for you. Like, your world is going to change. I feel like you could be the shadow treasure and somebody wants to marry you here, but they don't have relationship skills. Or it's possible that they feel like they have to do something really skillful in order to be with you, whatever that is, uh, a plan, I'm not sure yet. But uh, the Sacred Covenant card, somebody could be married here because, yeah, and it's possible that you have like a Sacred Covenant with this person that is like you know, a covenant that has been made by the universe or by the cre our creator, right? It could be. Mm -hmm. Because we have sacred contract and that's what that is, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. And uh, let's get a card here. We're going to get a couple regular uh, regular tarot here. Nothing's regular, no, or uh, traditional, I should say. We have the judgment card. See, you're hoping for rebirth. But the rest card is with it, as in resting, right? As in we see the man and he's on the ground with these four swords in uh, in him. They're not really in him. No, they are. Oh, one's in his hand. OMG here. I feel like you're hoping somebody will recover. This person will recover from whatever they're going through. And you're going to have a rebirth. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Let's get a card on your challenge. The Eight of Stones. This is the Eight of Pentacles skill. Let's get a, a card here. And this is in the challenge here. I feel like you think somebody is kind of like, I don't really want to say not at your level, but I feel like you're in love with this person. Yeah, you love your person, but you feel like they haven't really like fully awakened or they are not like, at the top of their game in their personal life, or they haven't learned enough, uh, in life yet to about relationships and love to choose what is right for them. Kind of, we have the page of cups. Mm -hmm. Queen of wands reversed. Your person's probably a fire sign. I feel like your challenge here, this person needs enough relationship skills here to kind of offer you something, right? You can't have anything if somebody's not ready for it, or I'm not saying your person's not ready, but I'm saying ready emotionally, they probably are. We're going to look at their cards down here because the first card they have is the queen of pentacles, Capricorn. So that's you. So that means they're, they're ready emotionally. They love you or they love you enough, right? You wouldn't be the first card 
down here, right? Uh, in their energy, but they don't have the skills or something. You could be dealing with somebody who's has not raised their vibrational, you know, their their level of consciousness, or they are their emotional intelligence is low. Yeah, hold on one second, guys. It'll be quick. Okay, I beg your pardon, you guys, yeah. So, you know, that's what's going on in this reading. Somebody you love and you want to rebirth with, but maybe this person had too many responsibilities as with this burden card right here, right? That's what this is. The Ten of Bows is responsibility. I feel like this person has some other responsibilities uh, in their life that's kind of holding them back, but also uh, they don't have enough uh, relationship skills or they can't see things in the right perspective or they can't put, can't connect the dots, something like that. And we have the tower in the past with the responsibility card. And this could be, uh, we have it with the generosity card in your current energy here. Mm hmm. This is your wish, the nine of cups, the nine of vessels. Uh, somebody maybe didn't want to take responsibility for, for this relationship with you or this person. Or they didn't want to take responsibility because they already had a burden on their shoulders. Yeah, it looks like that. And in your fear and your doubt, Capricorn, the world tree, right? Mm-hmm. And they're showing kind of like, you know, this is kind of like the, the tree of life. Let's see what they have to say about that card in this reading. It is the world. They're calling it the world tree because this is, you know, uh, about the forest kind of. And let's see what we have. The world tree. And this is, uh, this, they talk about the position on the wheel. The world tree sits at the heart of the cycle in the quadrant of fire. Mm -hmm. Wow. It encompasses all the different aspects of the wheel, like the wheel of fortune, and the human aspects of the major arcana. Okay, well, that's kind of uh, vague here. The universal mind recognition. This is what you're fearing. They're not going to recognize this. And they're not going to have the universal mind, which is somebody who has raised their, their consciousness. This is really interesting. Mm -hmm. the, the primal source of creation, the collective human consciousness. See, you're, you're fearing that this person kind of doesn't, they're not, they're not awakened and judgment showing up with it. So, oh, that was showing up here in your desire, but it doesn't matter here because these, uh, energies are here. They're kind of like the doubts and fear, uh, uh, hopes and fears all in the same because this is the desire this is the fear here or the hope and then the doubt right uh, but it's they're all together is my point but this is very clear here you want to rebirth with this person but you're kind of afraid here or doubting that they have like kind of woken up yeah i also fear feel like you want an awakening for this person you want them to recognize this is also about a recognition the world tree yeah, it is. And you want them. The tree of life and death. Wow. Just reward and material wealth. No, I don't think this is really about. But it could be maybe you're fearing this person is kind of, they, they, they don't want to lose any money here. Mm -hmm. You look like you're dealing with something difficult, Capricorn. And I say that because, because it looks complicated here where somebody doesn't have enough possibly uh, relationship skills or emotional intelligence maybe and they also have some responsibilities that could be holding them back omg and maybe they're concerned about their money and we also have this card the four of swords reverse the ten of cups you're afraid you're not going to have your happily ever after and you're not going to heal this with this person to add to it here they have the queen of pentacles the two of swords is next to it like they're at a stalemate uh let's have a look here and we have the queen of cups reversed and the seven of swords reversed. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like this person, it's possible they don't want to tell the truth that they love somebody. Maybe Queen of Pentacles, they love you. You're their first card, right? Of course. And so it's possible they don't want to tell the truth to somebody because somebody will be Queen of Cups reverse can sometimes be somebody who has emotional issues. Maybe this is part of the burden that this person is carrying over here with this responsibility card. The Queen of Cups reversed. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you guys, because some, but it could be somebody who, who does not like, who has emotional issues. It could be like, they could be any sign, right? And we have the Seven of Swords reversed. It almost looks like your person doesn't, they like, they love you and want you, but they're kind of at a stalemate here, or they don't maybe know what to do because they have to tell somebody the truth about this and that they would really maybe be, you know, maybe plunging somebody into depression. The Queen of Cups reverse can be someone who's jealous and sometimes really depressed and like full of fury and scorn. What's on their mind is the Eight of Swords and Justice reverse. See, they want to cut ties with somebody. The man's cutting ties here. That's what he's doing in this deck. Yeah, he's cutting ties to the woman. This person wants to release either themselves or release themselves from this or maybe cut your, like, release you. This is about release. And justice is reversed. This is what's on their mind. For me, this is like a divorce for some. But see, this could be on their mind because this person thinks that they're they think they're really hurting somebody here. Most likely, this is a trip reading. I feel like it is. We have the snake here. I don't know if I spoke about that. This is their their current energy. Uh, that's how I'm looking at it. And so uh, the snake is, you know, it's about they're being deceptive about a reunion or they are planning or they're sneaking inside. Or I just feel like there could be two people here for sure besides you. So what's on their mind? Justice in the reverse. Uh, they could be concerned here that if they cut ties, releasing themselves could bring them some really lousy kind of karma or some type of justice that is like an injustice to them. Because the, it's clear here that this person has some doubts. It's clear here they love you. You're their first card, Queen of Pentacles. But it's also clear that they have doubts because they have all these responsibilities. And somebody here is... Uh, maybe really emotionally challenged that they have to deal with or really like jealous or maybe they have emotional issues, real ones, right? Justice reverse, they could be afraid to go to court. Ace of Pentacles, this is what's on their mind, releasing themselves to have a brand new beginning. Yeah, and justice is in the reverse because I feel like this person feels it's like unfair to somebody else. OMG, could be. We have the Four of Cups in their challenge with the Page of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. Their challenge for me is to pour somebody's cup out here. Their challenge is that they're unhappy in their own life. But the page of swords is reversed. And this is like, it could be I thought about this forever and ever. And I still haven't like, possibly I still need more information. I feel like this person knows that they really want this with you. And that they have totally figured that out, although they probably took a long time maybe to figure it out. I feel like they probably, they could have been blocking themselves because of these problems I talked about. Let's get another card here. And this could be rejecting somebody in their challenge. And maybe not knowing kind of like how to do it. Page of Swords reverse. The Page of Swords, uh, it's a, you know, has a lot of kind of meanings, but... You know, in this reading, it kind of means that it usually means somebody needs more information. And it's possible somebody knew here already what they were doing. Page of Swords reversed. And like they knew that they were going to reject them. I mean, this is very deep here or kind of detail, but somebody could have known here. And this is in the challenge. Like I told you, you were going to dump me. This is a trip here in their challenge. Because for me, this person wants to let somebody go. He's pouring the cup out. And here they are thinking of a new beginning with you. Right? Maybe you poured your cup out, poured their cup out. Maybe you rejected them, possibly. 
uh, maybe they rejected you here. Maybe on social media, because we have the page of swords can be about spying. Yeah, this is a very trippy here. Eight of wands. They want change. They have to reject somebody here, most likely, or they're unhappy and they really want change right? Four of wands is what they hope for with the four of cups. Yeah, you guys, I have two cards in here. Uh, I have two decks identical to this and one's in uh, at my son's house far away. <laughs> so, you know, but here we have the four of cups twice. I'm going to take it because I feel like it wants to come out. Yeah. And what they want, they want to pour somebody's cup out right here. And that's why it's in the challenge too, because it's challenging to let somebody go. OMG. For it looks like it, four of wands, they want this union with you, their fear, six of wands, ten of pentacles, this is their fear, they're not going to have victory or they're not going to overcome this, uh, they're not going to have a union with you, they could be fearing they're not going to have a union because there's going to be loss of money, the ten of pentacles in a very general uh, gist here or meaning is that they're already married, ten of pentacles, and this is why they're afraid they're never going to have a victory with you. We're going to go to the extended. They're all super affordable. I really want to see it. I do. And we're going to use the romance angels, Capricorn. We are because you're such an angel. Uh, you have always been in my heart. <laughs> but you could be like, uh, and there, this, this is about romance. It is, right? Uh, but we're going to end this reading. And they're all super affordable. And we're going to finish this spread over here, uh, which is what is on their mind, I believe, <coughs> is a... Is a is a union with you, a very new beginning in love. Here we have the reunion card, the wagon wheel <clears throat> here. Uh, yeah, we're going to check that out. We're going to finish that reading. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. somebody loves you. This person loves you. They do. But we're going to go to the extended. I feel like this person needs to kind of, we have this card here, go with the flow. I feel like this is their problem. They're blocking themselves from this blessing with you. Yeah, they are. Because I feel like they have to reject somebody. It's showing up in the challenge. Or they live some really unhappy life and they're like accepting it. Almost like blocking their blessings. This is what I mean. And we're going to see how they feel. And we're going to use, we're going to have a tarot spread on them as well. We are. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see their environment, how they feel, how they're seeing this, what they might want to say to you, what you don't know about them, Capricorn. Yeah, you don't know everything, even though I'm here for you, Capricorn. Yeah, and of course, there are two intentions. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, it's been fun. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.